Hello beloved, yes we are getting deeper and deeper into um, seeing the, the mind of the spirit. Yes, it's life and it's peace and how the spirit of the Lord organized all this architecture of the kingdom of God that's increasing is taking over from the cell, from the seed of Jesus. How it grows, it's just flabbergasting. It takes God to do this type of increase on one seed. How oh, perfect is His work. I want this message to be an encouragement to you. Because lots of times, standing for the truth, speaking the truth, preaching the praying the truth, doesn't have immediate rewards. And sometimes you get persecution. <clears throat> you know, unwarranted, just, just comes from nowhere. Not even something that you said or a place that you've been and this persecution, it's coming. Now you have to stay focused and know that you know it's the Lord that's increasing the seed. It's His truth that's getting multiplied. Because if people do not receive it, if persecution comes, it does not mean that you are in the wrong place. And the same, if people do receive, it does not mean you are in the right place. <laughs> Remember how Jesus was teaching us in, uh, in, in John chapter 11, um, about the inner light and the outside light. If everything is dark on the outside, that means all the conditions seem to be against you. Nothing really matches and tells you go. Uh, it, it's, uh, you don't stumble because of that, because you have the light on the inside. So if the inside says go, it doesn't matter what's outside. But at the same token, if inside is do not go, it doesn't matter that everybody comes to the million dollar waiting for you. No, that's, uh, you know, all the light outside is not replacing the inside. The Lord says, stop, don't go now. So while what's happening out there can be a confirmation, it should never be um, the validation of what the Lord told you to do. The validation is inside. The word comes inside. Validation is on the inside. And you walk in its place. So we, we see this with the, with the beginning. I love to read. You know, word by word, verse by verse, and kind of imagine I'm right there with Paul. I'm right there going, um, okay, here's another territory. What do we do? What do we do, Barnabas? Uh, we go to the synagogues. So what do we do, Silas? We go to the synagogues. So let's go. And they go there, and you start, and you, I can see the looks of the people. I can see people really coming right there, maybe in the front front row, and kind of looking at them. <laughs> and they keep, you know, telling the truth and arguing and um, speaking and bringing the revelation. And um, I mean, Jesus the same. He he came to his own. He would go and preach in synagogues and, you know, cast a demon and 
I don't think was the, the leader of the synagogue, but he cast a demon of someone in the synagogue. And um, the apostles, they were meeting in the temple. Every day they would go to the temple. Remember the book of beginning of book of Acts? So this is this is important to know that going against the flow, going in places that you are not maybe familiar and comfortable, going places where you kind of know Oh man, they're not gonna receive it. Oh man, no, they are gonna come against not those those people again. It comes to mind uh, what I heard from a from a brother. I don't wanna say the name. Some of you know, just because copyrights. <laughs> but he was saying that when he started uh, this prophetic um, prophetic ministry about prophets. Um, in the probably in the 70s that uh, fivefold was not popular and you couldn't be a prophet i mean you can be a pastor or evangelist but not a prophet and start to talk about and some people from the local news media as far as i remember three people came in and they would sit on in his conferences on the first row with the pencil and the paper and write down um, all uh, what he was saying and you could tell that they were um, writing down so they can speak bad about him to speak against him they would basically hunt for his mistakes all <laughs> ah he said something and they would write down <laughs> and um, he kind of got sick and tired of them and um, was thinking to tell them to, to kind of stop uh, stop them from coming and I think he had a vision or a dream that night where the Lord was showing him so the father was, you know start to show him an amazing sculpture out of a beautiful stone and the sculpture was coming so so perfectly and he saw like three pairs of hands that were sculpturing was were chiseling his way and looked so glorious and he asked he asked the father um, who is this and the the Lord told him that's you that's how I see you that's how what I am making you this is the future of what I'm making you to be and then the next question was who are these hands that are so faithfully chiseling my perfect um, work and in you know the way I looked and when the Lord took the the curtain, <laughs> he saw there were the three reporters, the, the three news media guys that he basically hated to the max. And they were the hands that worked on chiseling him. <laughs> he said that the next day, he specifically waited for them with some fresh paper and sharpened pencils. And as soon as they showed up, he gave them better seats. He gave them new papers. And, and he asked them nicely to keep writing and come there every single time. <laughs> they didn't show up for too long. But uh, that, that, come, that came to mind. And <clears throat> I, was, uh, I was looking at the way um, the seed grows so slowly sometimes and um, we keep watching and looking at that and nothing and nothing and nothing but there is life and the Lord promised and he will make it grow so 
yes it's one step at a time look at the acts chapter 17 verse 4 and paul going to synagogue it says some of them were persuaded in a great multitude of the devout greeks you're going to the jewish synagogue what is that <laughs> See, the fruit that you are getting is lots of times not what you expect. The person that you expect maybe to get it and receive that, it's not that person. But it's fruit because the fruit, the harvest is in the Father's hands. You are sent to harvest, but He is the one that brings the harvest and gives you the right people the right souls that are ready and not a few of the leading women joined paul and silas women but society was not really uh, promoting women jewish society definitely not <laughs> so interesting the fruit the way the lord sees the fruit it's so beautiful in verse 12, therefore many of them believed, and also not a few of the Greeks, and prominent women as well as men. However, some men joined him and believed, among them Dionysius the Areopagite, a woman named Damaris, and others with them. Um, that was verse 34. Now, in between these verses that I picked, right before that, he said that lots of Jews and lots of people from synagogues, they hated them, they kicked them out, they didn't like them, they, they came against them. But, here's a couple of, couple of seeds. Wow, this is working. Are these few worth it? <laughs> Um, this is the way the gospel was preached and advanced through times. Yes, we're thinking big evangelism, you know, the big evangelism, mass evangelism, and we think revivals when people from the parking lot, they would receive the power and praise the Lord. Yes, we want more of those. But if you look at what happened for the 2,000 years, the way the gospel went, went from one to one to one to one, and then two, and then a family here and a family there. It's, it's, it's not like a mind-boggling. It's one seed at a time. It's one person at a time. Even if it doesn't seem too fast, it is the pace of the Lord. Does it seem too slow to you? No, it should not. Because the kingdom of God is lots of times, it's presented as a seed that grows. <laughs> when is the last time you watched the seed growing? Yeah, it's a tricky question. Because you cannot watch it growing. It can be there and maybe come back in a few weeks and maybe you see a little sprout. <laughs> so, um, I, it's almost like what the Lord promised Joshua, Joshua 1 3, it has a different meaning to me. Every place that the sole of your foot will tread upon, I have given to you, as I said to Moses, one step at a time. Man, there is a whole, a whole land. Do you know how many people who just turned to be 8 billion people in this world? What are you doing? Why we are so slow? Why the buildings are not full of people? One person at a time. If the Lord, the Lord didn't say, hey, you look at there and just kind of whip around and that I give you. No, no, you step. I mean, how big is the step? The sole of your foot. That's what I give you. 
That's how I start to understand. He gives me what I can step on. And nothing more. So yes, sometimes he tells me to move faster and step more. <laughs> but that's very important for you to know. Don't fall into any kind of a rush and hurry. Don't go ahead of the pace of the Lord. Because that's when disappointment and stress and pushing for stuff comes in. It's, um, uh, it, it's interesting. So let's just to illustrate that. In the same chapter, uh, Paul ends up at Athens. You know, the Greek culture um, capital. So many philosophers. And people are just kind of looking for something new. And Paul, of course, you know, he goes there. The, the Holy Spirit is with him. He goes and preaches. And most of the things he gets back, it's just smirking, laughter, um, ridicule. Yeah. Get out of here. Maybe a couple of people believed. Isn't that interesting that in few centuries Christianity would be the main religion in Athens? Four, fifth century, the main. <laughs> in the, the Greek Orthodoxy, it's one of the biggest religion in the world today. He is there as a seed in Athens. Nobody really pays attention to that. Pfft, whatever. It's, we got philosophers here. We are conquering one step at the time. Please focus on the next step that the Lord wants you to take. Yes, it might take a while to reach the end of the place but the Lord said I will be with you I will be with you as I was with Moses I will be I'm walking through your steps you understand there's no gain too small there's no advancement that's too small I am growing through you Remember that.